Hey guys, welcome to Homemade Homestead. Today I'm bringing you $5 dinners. I'm so excited to be partnering in this collaboration with Melinda over at Not Perfect But Just Right. She does some awesome extreme budget challenge videos. She does $5 dinners and she's also making two $5 dinners with me. She's making a breakfast and a Mexican food dish and so am I. I'm making a different breakfast and a different Mexican food dish. So I will leave her channel and her video that she's doing with me down below. If you are new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a mom to three. We have an eight year old, a two year old, and a little baby girl. We homestead on about a half an acre. We raise most of our own meat and have a huge massive garden. And we also love to cook from scratch. So if you are new here, I hope you would look around our channel and consider subscribing. But enough talking, let's get cooking. The first one is a breakfast casserole. Super hearty, it'll feed a crowd. I'm serving a family of five, but we definitely have leftovers with this meal. So first, let me show you all the ingredients and I'll show you how to put it all together. Now these are according to the prices where I live. So my store had five pound bag of potatoes. These are just red potatoes for 99 cents. I wanted to give you guys some options though in case you didn't have potatoes on for such a good price. If you don't want to make homemade hash browns with these potatoes, you could substitute and use these hash browns. They were 79 cents for a one pound bag. And you might need two of these, but we are going to need some sort of hash brown as our base for this casserole. Then I like to buy my bell peppers on sale and chop them and freeze them. So I got this bell pepper for 50 cents and you can see the ice still in there because it is thawing. And then this is a one pound package of turkey sausage that I got from Walmart. And this was $1.67. What I did is I thawed that in some cold water for a couple hours in my sink. Then I cut it out of the package, put it in a cast iron skillet, cooked it up, ground it with my spatula, just chopped it up into little pieces and cooked it all the way until it was completely done. And so I have that one pound right here. And then my store had their eggs, a dozen large eggs for 79 cents. So I have a dozen of those. And then I got this cream cheese. This is gonna be for our sauce. And this was 80 cents. And I'm not including in the price some onion powder, which we actually grew these onions and my husband dehydrated them. And we ground our own onion powder with those. And also garlic powder. I would hope that you guys would have just your basic pantry staples of spices and some kind of fat. So I'm not including those few things in the prices, but so we have a dollar here, 50 cents, a dollar 67, and 79 cents and 80 cents. So our whole total came to $4 and 75 cents. If you wanted to switch out the regular potatoes and go into the hash browns, you would probably need two of these packages and each one is 79 cents. That does bump up the total of this meal up to $5.34, but it is still very reasonable and very hearty and filling. I have a full video on how to make homemade hash browns like restaurant style, and I'll leave a link to it up above. So I took my potatoes and I scrubbed all five pounds of them. I want to get all that dirt off of them. Then I decided to peel them just because I noticed some of them were green a little bit under the skin. I wanted to remove all of that and then I'm going to grate them. You can use a food processor, but my baby girl is actually sleeping, so I'm gonna use a box grater. Either way works just fine. Now the key to having amazing hash browns is to soak them in some cold water. All right, I've got my potatoes all rinsed and drained. Just gonna set these aside. Well, I have these two big 10 inch cast iron pans. One of them is coated and the other is not. I'm going to use the fat of my choice, which is definitely butter, but mixed with olive oil to raise the cooking point, the cooking temperature of it. And that way the butter won't burn, but use whatever fat you have on hand that you like. Be careful because it is going to be quite hot. I'm going to take my beautifully golden brown hash browns. We're going to put them right in our casserole dish. My little parts got away from me. That just happens sometimes. That's going to be a beautiful thick layer of hash browns on the bottom. Now I'm going to scatter my cooked turkey sausage right over top of my hash browns. 
Then I'm gonna take my chopped bell peppers and sprinkle those all over as well. We're gonna take our one package of cream cheese that is room temperature. If you don't have one room temperature, you can pull it right out of the fridge, pop it into a microwave safe dish and do it for about 30 seconds. You do have to be careful because sometimes it can explode on you. So watch out for that. But mine has been sitting out for a little while so I don't need a microwave at this time. But believe me, most of the time I don't have the forethought to pull it out of my fridge to get it to room temperature and microwaving works just fine for me. I like to whip it a little bit just to break up that block. Hopefully it makes it less um, likely to get clumpy. Now I'm gonna slowly add in some water. Woo. Starting to make a mess. And this is so we don't have to add like cream or milk, cheese. This will add a really nice creaminess to the eggs without having to add in all these different ingredients. So it's just cream cheese and water. So I ended up adding three quarters of a cup of water to my one block of cream cheese. Next, I'm gonna crack in my entire dozen eggs right into my bowl. What are your guys' egg prices where you live? It's so fascinating to me that egg prices fluctuate so much that they do. We raise chickens for eggs, and in the winter time, they really slow down or stop altogether. Egg prices, they can be from anywhere from 80 cents to $2. It's just so bizarre to me. I'm gonna get these all really well mixed in. All right, to my egg mixture, I am going to add some pepper. I don't know why, but I always take the lids off of my salt and pepper shaker, and then it's always sketchy. If I'm gonna add in too much, it's just habit. I feel like I don't have enough patience for them to come out the little holes in the top. Uh, am I alone in that? Do you guys do the same thing? All right, then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. This is homemade garlic that my husband does for us. It's so sweet. He peels them and chops them and gets them in the dehydrator, then even grinds them. So a great way to use some homemade stuff and garlic is the easiest thing to grow if you guys have never grown garlic I really encourage you to do so oh sorry that was onion powder too that I just finished with but garlic is just so easy it's like a plant it and forget it kind of thing um, and now is actually the time you plant garlic it's kind of weird you plant it like late fall right before winter time November December time we are gonna get ours in here hopefully this week all right, and then lastly, I'm going to take my eggs that has that cream cheese, water, garlic, and onion powder. We're gonna pour this right over top. The sausage and peppers might get a little displaced, but that's okay, we can mush them around again. We're gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. All right, and there is our delicious breakfast casserole. Ooh, doesn't that look so good? Piping hot. The family is ready to dive into this for dinner. I am a pepper mouse, so I love to top mine with a lot of sriracha, but probably my husband will do some salsa and the kids probably catch up, honestly. All right, I just wanted to show you guys, we have about half the pan for leftovers. This next dinner we're making is a healthy taco salad. I love this one, it is so delicious. It's a great way to get some veggies in. My kids love this and it is super nutritious and it's also budget friendly. So here's an overall view of the ingredients we're gonna need for our taco salad. Now again, these are prices that are in my area. So first I'm gonna start off in the back. I have a dollar's worth of some iceberg lettuce. If you have more money, you can get a better lettuce than that, but iceberg lettuce will do just fine. Then I got this bag of Don Julio tortilla chips. This will be more chips than we need for our dinner. Uh, this was 79 cents. Then I have a can of pinto beans. I got this from a different store because not every store will have the best price on things. You kind of have to shop around a little bit if you're trying to get the best bang for your buck. So this can of pinto beans was 49 cents. Then I got one pound package of turkey. So I took my turkey meat, I thawed it in the sink until it was ready to be cooked. I cooked it in a cast iron skillet and I chopped it up with a spatula. Once it was fully cooked, I added in some garlic powder, some onion powder, some chili powder, some cumin, and some salt. These tomatoes, they were 50 cents. 
And then I made my own homemade ranch dressing. They sell a little container of sour cream, or if you don't like that, you could do a little container of Greek yogurt. You wanna make sure it's just the plain Greek yogurt. I make my own ranch dressing mix, some garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, salt, and pepper. And if you don't want to do this, you could totally buy the packet of ranch, which is pretty inexpensive, or a bottle of ranch. So those are the ingredients I'm gonna use for my taco salad. This comes to $5.06 for this recipe. Okay, so in my bowl, I am going to dump in my lettuce. I did already chop this and rinsed it. I love using my salad spinner for that. It's just, it's really convenient. Then I'm gonna add in my one can of pinto beans that I drained and rinsed my turkey meat that I have cooked and seasoned. And this is cool because I didn't want to wilt my lettuce with my hot meat. Okay, now I'm gonna take my chips and I'm actually gonna crush them a little bit. If you have kids, I'm sure they would love to do this part. Just crumbled a little bit. You don't want them to be like little pieces. So I have a little bit of these chips left over. I'm sure my husband will eat those with some salsa later. I'm going to go in with my tomatoes. Even if we're eating on a budget, it doesn't mean that we can't have great flavor and even some good nutrition. And now I'm gonna to top the top with some of my ranch dressing mix. I'm gonna give this whole bowl a good toss. Doesn't that look like a great dinner? You've got all you, all you need in there. You've got your carbs, your protein, great amount of veggies. My kids adore this salad. I hope you guys will give this one a try too. Well, there you guys go. Two really healthy, delicious dinners that'll feed your family for only about $5 each. Don't forget to check out Melinda's video over at Not Perfect But Just Right, and the link is down below. And go check out what awesome dinner she has for you. Thank you guys again for joining me today. If you like what you see, if you're new around here, I hope you would consider subscribing. I have a lot of different videos. We do a lot of cooking videos, and I hope you are having an awesome day wherever you are, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye now.